Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadows, singles, duochromes, multichromes, blush, highlight, lip gloss, basically everything except press glitter and today we're doing the last ever latest to go up very very delayed Sephora VIP sale haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me, we're getting into it right now. So full disclosure, I did attempt to film this video earlier when my makeup and my hair were a lot fresher. Um, and unfortunately, my kids just were not having it. So packed up everything, put the camera aside, and now my husband and my sister-in-law are home so they can kind of keep an eye on things and I can have five minutes. <laughs> so okay maybe 20 minutes because we all know full well this is going to be more than five minutes but anyway let's launch into the sale now i placed i think three or four different small orders throughout the sale and then one um on the very star So I placed like four small orders and then I placed one order like a day after the sale ended, but I'm going to put everything kind of in here together because I did want to just show you everything that I got. Okay. So the first things that I want to talk about are the hair products. I had to get this. Clearly I need it because this is like, mm, needs assistance. But anyway, I was super excited about the idea of the hair mask. I love whey products. The Kerastase hair elixir really intrigued me as well. The Orbe definitely intrigued me. And you get a teeny tiny little like sample of the Gisu hair oil. So I picked this up so that I could try a couple of different things all at once without having to pay like too, too much. And then if there's anything I like, I can definitely hang on to that as like a um, something I might pick up full size at the next sale. Product number two is the Way Wave Spray. And initially I was trying to like be a little bit more reserved with my purchases. So I went with the travel size because I know I really like this one. And I figured eventually I'd buy the full size. And then my whole <laughs> plan just went out the window. So I'm glad I ordered the travel size because then I had a little bit of extra cash for everything else. Um, but yeah, I know already I really like this one and I would definitely recommend the full one. Skincare. So I picked up the Ordinary AHA and BHA Serum. Um, this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial and I have never tried an AHA BHA to my knowledge and I was hoping to give this one a try. I saw Mr. Johnny Ross recommending the Fenty one, but that one's like 40 something dollars. So I figured I'd give this one a try first, see if I like it, if my skin likes it. And then if I do just go ahead and pick up, you know, the Fenty one at the next sale. And then I did also pick up this little Wishful Kit, which has the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub, which I really, really love. It has a consistency, almost like a very fine ricotta cheese, um, which is such a gross thing to describe this, but it really is quite similar. And then when you rub it all together, it like exfoliates everything off your face. I love how clean and like fresh my skin feels after that. So I picked that up and then I picked up these two like picked up this kit so I could try these two things as well because I had never tried them before. And in the second order I did, which I'll talk about those two products in just a moment, I did also get a pharmacy take the day, take the 14 day challenge um, AHA BHA resurfacing serum. So that was the second one just for me to try as well. Then the two things that I picked up in that mini order after the sale are this brush kit and one more thing. My husband got me this brush kit, I want to say like two years ago at Christmas time, and I loved the quality of the brushes in here. They just had really great like styles and shapes and sizes. So I wanted to pick up another set. Unfortunately, it went out of stock and has not been in stock since. I've been like stocking the website. I will always check if I'm making an order to see if this is in stock and it's always there, marked half price, but never available, <laughs> which drives me insane. So when I saw this one was finally back in stock, I thought it was like an error and I was like, let me just try to place an order. If it comes, great. Otherwise, they'll probably just cancel the order because I've had that happen to me too when I've been trying to pick this brush up, brush set up in the past. So I was super happy to get another set of these. And then the other thing I picked up 
after the sale was the Kaali Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. Um, I have been really falling in love with the Kaali fragrances and I really, really like this one. So um, I wanted to pick this one up and then I did pick up some other fragrance stuff during the sale so I'll probably jump into that next. At some point I think I'm going to do a video kind of ranking my favorite fragrances from this year so if that's something you're interested in definitely let me know um, and I'll make sure to kind of prioritize filming that but this I was super excited to try. Everything else we're talking about is back in sale time. <laughs> so I did also pick up the Sephora Favorites Best of Vanilla kit and it has these five different scents or five different fragrances that also have like a vanilla base to them. Um, and then you get a full size of either the rollerball or the travel spray at no additional cost It has like the little voucher in it So I picked up one of these because I was really excited to give this a try and for $25 I just thought that was a good good option. I was really excited to try the floral street the Juliet has a gun and Was it the Skylar or the nest? There was like three or four of these that I was like already kind of wanting to go in and smell anyway so I was like you know what let me just pick up this little sampler set I can try them all at home kind of wear them for a day or two at work see what I think of them and then pick my favorite so pick that up and then I did also pick up the Kaali Utopia Vanilla Coco 21 this is the other scent that I thought was really appealing it has like vanilla pear jasmine coconut sandalwood bourbon notes all things that sound wonderful to me so I went ahead and picked that one up and then this thing showed up on the website and this is the travel essentials Kaali set it has the Eden juicy apple the original vanilla 20 and the love fest burning cherry 48 now I've been I've been using some of these already because I just could not contain myself most of the stuff I have not touched yet but this one I just couldn't help myself and I've been using the vanilla 28 a lot it smells so wonderful um, and the love fest burning cherry I've worn a couple of times it kind of reminds me of the dossier dupe for the Tom Ford lost cherry um, but I don't have the original Tom Ford so I can't really tell you how close it is to that one but I do think it smells really good so I've been really enjoying these complexion products next so the next things that I picked up were the Sephora best skin ever so the Sephora stuff was 30% off so I went ahead and picked this up I have no idea if this is my right shade when I tried to shade match on one website it told me like 11.5 or something like that and then Sephora's website said 19.5 so that's like a jump um, but I picked up 19.5 and I'm hoping for the best if not I might have to lighten that with something and then I did also pick up the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Um, the shade I got was LP4, which is supposed to be like light with peachy undertones. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up because I've heard good things about that as well. The Sephora like Best Skin Ever concealer that went with this had very mixed reviews, so I wanted to try something different. I was debating between this and the Kosas, so hopefully I like this one. If not, maybe next sale time. I might pick up the Kosas. You guys will have to let me know if you've tried that one. Do you like it? Or if you have another concealer recommendation, something that's nice and hydrating is definitely, you know, on my wish list. Okay. So going along with that for face products, I did also pick up this face trio from LYS and I wasn't initially going to pick this up because I was like, Heather, you just don't need three more blushes. And then I was like, yeah, but it's three more blushes for $20. <laughs> and somehow that tipped the scales. So I ended up picking it up. I'm really excited to give these a try. I've heard lots of good things about these and the swatches that I've seen from other people, they just look really nice and like glowy. So I am really excited to give this a try. I did pick up this colorful contour shade from Sephora and it's just a single pan contour. It's definitely a little bit light. I'm hoping it'll be a really good one for traveling so I don't have to bring a huge like package with me or a huge palette with me just for contours. So I figured I'd give that a try. And then the last thing I got was the Charlotte Tilbury Dreamy Superstar Glow Kit. And this has two of the glow wands in it. I think I have had the glow wands on my BIB sale wish list for probably four or five years at this point. And either I wasn't high enough to get it before it sold out um, by the time they got to my part of the sale or other stuff just took priority. So I was so excited to finally um, pick this one up now. These are like teeny teeny tiny. These are tiny But I'm still excited to give them a try if I like them then I know I can invest in the full size because they are pricey. And 
And let's see, we'll talk about lips next, I guess. Um, so I did pick up one of the Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stains from Fenty. Uh, this is the shade Berry Banger. I would wanted this one in Mai Tai for quite some time. Um, I picked up Mai Tai a while back at Ulta because it was never available at Sephora. And then they finally had this one in stock during the sale, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then a mascara. You guys, I don't know what I was doing with mascara. So the first thing I picked up was this, which is one of the Lash to Go, um, Lash Stash to Go kits and basically there's five different mascara samples in here you give them all a try and then whichever one you like best you can go by the full size um i think the only one i know for sure i'm not going to use is the lights camera lashes so i'll probably pass that along to a friend of mine at work who really likes that mascara because they have another sample of it sitting literally like right over there um, but I really wanted to try the Rare Beauty, and I really wanted to try the Huda. So I figured between the two of those, hopefully I'll find one that I like, and then pick that one up full size. And then everybody started talking about the Tower 28 mascara, so then I was like, well, I guess I'll order that too, because it's, you know, available during the sale, and then I get 20% off. <laughs> so now I have, like, six mascaras to try, but I'm very excited to try them. The last thing, which is probably my favorite thing, don't. Um, but the last thing to talk about is eyeshadow palettes. And originally I was like, I'm just going to order one palette. I'm going to be so controlled. And then I was like, just kidding. No. So I ended up getting three. The first of which is this wild chameleon, which you can see. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, so I wanted to complete my set. I have the other two out of this set. The only one I'm not um, collecting is the, like, the only one I'm not collecting is the, like, Jaguar kind of one. Um, but I wanted to pick this one up because I thought it was, like, really pretty, like, red, orange, and purpley shades. The Love Fest palette is very similar, but I just like this one a little bit more, so I went ahead and got this one. And then the second thing that I picked up, and actually this was like one of the first orders that I made, but the second thing, the second palette I'll talk about is the Bad Side Zodiac Air Palette from Melt Cosmetics. I am not an air sign. I think I'm a fire sign. I'm Sagittarius. I think that's a fire sign. Who cares? Um, but this like peachy, corally, and purple color story just really caught my eye. I love this almost like iridescent gray pinky shade here. I just thought these colors looked so pretty together. So I picked this one up. I'm very, very excited to use it. And I guess the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And then the last thing, the last thing. Oh my gosh. Couldn't help myself. As soon as it showed up, it showed up on the last day of the sale and I was literally like stalking the website to try to get it before the sale was done. And that was the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. So this is one of her midi palettes and it looks like this. Oh, it's so pretty. This shade here, I'm already like, can I just rub it all over my face or no? Um, I like this a lot. I've always been interested in the Lime Crime, what was it, Venus XL2, the one that was like greens and pinks, but I've heard the formula is like really chalky and dry and not very pigmented, so when Natasha kind of sneak peeked that she was going to do this, I was like, yeah, it's basically that same color story, but in a different formula that I think I'll like better, so I was really, really excited to pick this one up. I have not gotten a chance to play with it yet, um, but yeah, those, oh, I'm so excited for those palettes for sure. All right. And with that said, that is everything for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!